our first characteristic of civilization that we have is social structure. Back here, we have the house of a slave and the house of an average citizen. Inside the slave house, you can see there is a slave, and inside the average citizen house, there is a broken window, and you can see there are two average citizens. Hopefully, that's a man and a woman. Okay, next we have stable food supply. This here shows um, animals like pigs, cows, and chickens that were used for food and cooked, and they got cooked. The farmer would gather the animals and put them in the pen and feed them to make the meat fatter. This would, this is called domesticate. After they they would kill them for food, they, this led them to having a stable food supply. And we have a cow, um, all of a sudden in the chicken pen, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. And over here, we also have some farm here. So, yeah. Our next characteristic is religion. Right here we have a wither ziggurat with two wither skulls on top of a miniature ziggurat. Over here, up here actually, I would say, we have the government. This shows government because it, it is a castle where a rich, where a rich person would live and, and the government would be there in there too. The rich guy could be the king or ruler of of the civilization and have a view over the everything out of his amazing sky castle that he would have to teleport to. The next characteristic is technology. For technology, over here, we have, well, we have a human cannon, and in here, which is guarded by a lot of doors, um, we have a light cycle room where the lights go in a cycle. It's not actually easy to make, and it's very high-tech. Up here, er, the arts, look up. Up here we have a diamond store where arts are commonly used in the real world for fun as a job and look for looks. In our village, we built a sword as a sign of art to show our village is strong. The last characteristic is writing. Writing for us is all over at this sign shows. It's in the front of the civilization on the sign. Over here, on the technology sign, above the domesticated animals, and guiding you all over the city. Along with that, there's symbolism. <laughs> Symbolism. There's symbolism in the walls where it shows Minecraft signs. Also, two, thi two things we could add to this that um, we accidentally destroyed was a thing. Um, it's TNT for the human cannon. We will show you this right now. Then you sit in here, and you push a button, and you would think it would blow you up because there's water and bedrock surrounding you. You're good. And you float up there, and then you fall back down, and hopefully don't die. <laughs> now, we are going to get a button, because later, today, I accidentally deleted it, so I couldn't show you in this video, but I'm going to show you right now. So, you go into the King Castle, and, and over here, there's a gold block that you can push a button on, and when you push it, when you push it, you get teleported up to the castle. This castle is an amazing place to live. It's like a resort. Almost. And when you fall down here, it brings you way back to the village, and you land nicely in a bed of water. That <laughs> is really easy to miss. <laughs> this has been Oz, our civilization. <laughs> the best civilization ever. <laughs> so, Signing out, William Akira.